Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a stunning abstract leafy design that's perfect for autumn. Let's get cracking. Okay, so to start off this design, I'm going to be using two gorgeous um, colors that we have. One is called Crisp Sage and the other one is called Midori. Now, I want the color that I'm using to be slightly darker than Crisp, Sa uh, crisp Sage, if I can get the words right. Uh, but I don't want it to be as dark as Midori. So i'm going to apply a little bit of that crisp sage on my palette and just a little drop of midori over here and then i'm going to mix the colors together so i can paint my nail i'm just using the uh flat uh gel brush that we sell on our website and this is the color i'm aiming for roughly so it needs to look like a bit more kind of olivey. Yeah, it's got a nice green undertone. Mm, it's lovely. I'm going to be just applying that on the nail as our base. So I'm going to go for probably two coats because I want it to be nice and opaque for our abstract leaf. Okie dokie, so both layers are now cured. I'm going to start shading uh, um, a different section of the nail with Valencia Orange, which is a gorgeous orange from our jelly range. Um, it's a lovely like burnt orange, you know. So we're gonna put that on the top section of the nail, just like so, like a nice blob. And then I'm gonna do the same at the bottom. So just apply a nice blob at the bottom, maybe slightly more color. There we go, something like this. And then I'm gonna go into our ombre brush, which was here a second ago, still is. <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking that ombre brush and just kind of bringing that color down slightly now the fade does not need to look like neat oh no um it needs to look messy because it just adds a lot more to the whole design so just patting it and kind of moving the product around just like that i'm gonna do the same on the bottom section so again i'm pulling the color up i'm kind of just trying to blend it into that green as you get to the bottom where the two colors meet that's that's where you need to concentrate on blending slightly more okie dokie so the nail is uh, dry I'm going to be using um, fries robe which is hands down my favorite brown and I'm gonna apply some of it on the palette anyway because I'm gonna be painting with it so I'll just apply a nice blob on here because I'll be using it quite a bit now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of that fryer's robe on my uh, brush and just adding a little bit on the edges i'm gonna blend that down as well so don't worry too much so i'm just gonna add like a teeny weeny line here and there just to add some color might even do it here a little bit 
not necessarily a border but just have a little bit of um brown come through now i'm gonna clean the brush and i'm just going to basically with a dry brush kind of stroke the color back and forth so you get a bit of a kind of fade but it's not necessarily a clean fade but i like doing that it just adds so much so i'm gonna fade that slowly pull the color in just like that and now wherever the dry sections are where you've done with the brush now you can go in with the um, ombre brush and just slightly pull the color in just very lightly don't get rid of that messy kind of look that we've created literally just pull the color down so we've got that okay and now i'm going to do the same on the bottom so i'm literally just creating kind of small stripes kind of can you see what i'm doing with the brush here i'm just literally pulling it upwards and it's not a clean job but trust me it looks so gorgeous at the end so I've got this done, which I'm happy with. I'm going to pop this to the lamp for about 20 seconds and then we'll carry on our design. And this is what it looks like once it's cured. Look how gorgeous this is. It really shows, you know, when the leaf kind of has different shade to it in the edges. Yes. So it kind of replicates that. It's yeah. really, really cute. So we've got this base layer on here. I'm going to pick up a uh, Friar's robe on my 003 detailing brush. And now I'm going to start painting some of those, like, I suppose, little um, veins that a leaf has in the midsection, midsection. So I'm going to basically just apply pressure, but again, we do not want the line to be super straight or we don't want it to be even in thickness because it doesn't look even when it's on a leaf, does it? No, no, it's more natural if it's, it's a lot got waste yeah. on it. So I'm going to do a line through and now I'm going to basically do some branches off that line and again i want to uh, apply pressure closer to the main line that we painted on top and then i'm going to release the pressure as i um basically get away from that line so i'm releasing the pressure and the line is becoming thinner okay and i'm gonna do a few more lines here and there just like so i mean how stunning is this design right it's looking so nice it's definitely represents autumn and the leaves mm, really and it's well. different yeah it's really you know, unique so it's, it's unique so i'm gonna do this and then i don't know if to add another line at the top I feel like why not right so i'm gonna have a line here so we've done those lines over here if lucy can get a close-up for us so it looks like this but we are not done right so to get that more of a realistic look i mean we are going to go back into that uh fryer's robe with my detailing brush and now create more branches out of the uh secondary lines that we painted okay so i'm going to just basically do the same thing just pull out lines and release pressure as i uh fade away from that main line so i'm just pressing releasing then i'm just basically creating more detail so again, I'm going to press, just a slight press here, because the line is already thin. 
and release and I'm gonna do that across all the uh, secondary lines that we pa uh, painted on so again pressure release I'm gonna do that all over the nail. This is genuinely so beautiful to look at. I'm loving this. So I've got this done over here. I might get another little line over here. I feel like it needs something. No, Steffi, stop. No. So this is what's gonna look like for now, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love this, you can stop there, but I love adding a bit more detail. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my brush and really on this one, just let go with the hand and start painting like semi-circles uh, to kind of add a little bit more detail. So look what I'm doing. I'm just like doing little semi-circles just to add a little bit more kind of, I'm trying to do semicircles, but the brush won't let me, which is the what happens really when you've got barely any product on. So I'm just kind of doing a kind of semicircle kind of movement. If I feel like I've pressed and I've put too much product in one area, then I'll go back in and remove it. So I'm just doing like a little bit of those kind of U-shapes with the tiniest bit on my brush, okay? Literally the tiniest bit. Okay, so this is what it looks like once it's cured. Now I'm going to take my lint-free wipe and some alcohol, and I always do that. I always remove the tacky layer before I apply um, a matte top coat because I don't like um, having like, you know, the tacky layer mixing with the matte uh, top coat and then it looks a bit streaky sometimes. So to avoid that, always wipe your nail down. So I'm going to apply a nice thin layer all over the nail. So this is what it looks like once it's cured. I've wiped this nail off with a uh, gel residue wipe-off solution because I'm going to apply a matte top coat and I sometimes find that the tacky layer that's left over uh, mixes in with the matte coat and then it looks a bit streaky underneath so to avoid it make sure you uh, wipe the nail off I'm gonna apply a thin layer of our ultra matte top coat all over the nail and I'm gonna pop it into the lamp for about uh, 30 seconds so we've got this gorgeous leaf over here cured. What I'm going to do now is just add a few droplets on top to make it look like it's just been raining. And I think it's a lovely effect anyway. So to be using, um, to do the droplets, I'm actually gonna be using our Mega Gloss No Wipe Top Coat because it's quite thick in consistency and I love, love, love it. <laughs> so I'm going to just apply random dots on the nail itself just like so try and get them slightly um, you know uh, different in size you don't want all the drops to be the same do you <clears throat> so I'm gonna do a few more drops just here and there and this is the final result, guys. How stunning is this nail? Really, really gorgeous. And I love the droplets on top with the matte background. It absolutely looks stunning. 
really, really special. So you can have that on your nails. You can have a few of those or you can have, you know, I don't know how you guys want to design it, but ooh, <laughs> I've done a couple here. I've done one earlier on. So you can just see what it looks like side by side. Those nails are stunning. A little masterpiece, really. You can put that um, on your thumbs, on the mid... I was going to say middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> you can put it wherever you want and then have some other greens on the other fingers. Or you can have um, like a glittery orange uh, finger to go with it. I mean, you can do so much with it. It's a stunning, stunning design perfect for fall but yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video guys thank you for watching and as usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you all on the next one take care